And do you think um, on this continuum that there is uh, sufficient capital opportunities for a nonprofit venture who has done those things that you've described? You, you, mean, you mean if they're specifically looking to go out and help uh, entrepreneurs fund their growth? Well, if they're looking to fund their own project, like where would they, uh, on this continuum, where would an ST go next? Yeah, so, you know, I think um, we started with our existing relationships with our foundation partners. Um, more foundations are doing program-related investments beyond grants, so you know, lo below market loans and equity investments. Obviously, in a nonprofit, you can't take on equity, and that's why we chose not to fund our flexible capital fund program through the nonprofit because we didn't want to be constrained by debt. We knew that business model wasn't going to work. But um, if you have existing relationships with core partners that are in alignment with your values, and you 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 know starting the conversation with, can we think creatively about how to fund this um, social enterprise? I mean that that our the first million we raised was easy. It was the next three that was the tough part. How long did it take you to raise that money? Probably like three or four months because we had already set the stage. It was interesting. We had some of our foundation partners who had put grant funds in to launch the startup. And they said, you know what, we want to follow on with investment because the two work hand in hand. So more, I think more foundations, not a lot, but more, are thinking about the role that their grants play and that their programming related investments play and trying to be more in alignment. The investment side of a foundation is often separate and distinct from the grant side um, and the innovative folks are the ones out there thinking about how can we do both in alignment with our values.